This was my first time ordering fabrics online. I have been sewing for more than 10 years, but I never had the courage to buy fabrics without seeing any samples, any swatches, nothing. So let's see what I got. Plus, at the end of the video, I will show you some fabrics I got here in Riga. I know for sure that few of them you can order online and I will link everything below. My big order came from a company called Fabricsite. By the way, nothing here is affiliated. I have been following this uh, company for, I think, longer than I have my own business. This company is based in Spain, which in my own case, it is a big bonus because if I order anything outside European Union, I would risk that uh, the fabrics could get stuck in customs, plus I would have to pay taxes on top of them. And I do plan to make these garments quite soon, so I just didn't want to risk to delay that even more. All right, the first fabric is a polyester twill. I found something very interesting about these large graphic stripes. It's quite heavy. I was feeling that this fabric will be a hit or miss, but the price was very good and I was thinking, you know what, like, anyways, I can make this in a sample, but seeing it in real life, I think it's too nice for a sample. I don't know what I will uh, make of it. I think like wide trousers, like our iris trousers would be perfect. I'm also thinking maybe like a summer jumpsuit or play suit like with shorts would be really fun. It has this vibe of 70s, also like a bit masculine, but at the same time there's this pink tone and this slightly yellow beige tone. It's not transparent at all. I wouldn't use it for shirts. I think it's too heavy for shirts. It might be also a bit sweaty because heavy polyester at the end of the day. I think I can make something really fun of it and not for the samples for sure. I wasn't very confident about this fabric, but I am happy that I did get it. And this is also polyester fabric. This one is more silky and it is lighter than the previous fabric. For some reason, I was thinking that it will be black with red polka dots but in real life it is very navy blue and I think it looks even more blue in the camera. I don't remember what was the color description in the website, but I was very sure that it will be black and red. I actually prefer this blue with red compared to black and red. So I am very happy I got this fabric. I already know what I'm going to make. It will be a midi dress with a slit and long sleeves. It will be a new sewing pattern and I hope that you will also like it. The next fabric I got is for the same dress, but in maxi length. It this is also a polyester twill. It is pretty light and I think that I will use lining for the bodice part because I'm worried that it might be a bit transparent even though it doesn't look so. I am aware that this print was so in fashion. I think in 2018, 2019, I remember like every fast fashion brand had everything, trousers, dresses, blouses with this giant print. But you know what, I felt like this pink color tone with these gold elements. It's just so in my character and I don't care. I just want to make a dress from this fabric. Trends come and go, this will return at some point as well. One more thing is that I was expecting this print to be smaller. I am very happy about how it is. In general, I think that larger prints look more elevated, but this is something that you should keep in mind. I know that most fabric stores that do post pictures with fabric and a ruler next to it, this store does it as well. But I guess my spatial thinking isn't as great and that's why I had a bit of surprise about this fabric and I had a few surprises in this order as well. I don't have any specific plans for the next fabric. I got it because the price was good and also because it is viscose. For those who don't know, viscose is artificially made but it is natural. It means that uh, 
you will not get a sweaty feeling like you could get from polyester fabrics. Also, it's really great in hot weather. It's, it's kind of similar to cotton, but it has more like silky properties. I personally have very good experience with viscose materials. I would recommend to pre-wash it before you are making something of it because sometimes they do shrink. But other than that, they are lasting quite well. And I think if you have an option to choose between polyester or viscose fabrics, then definitely go for viscose. With this fabric, I imagine the print absolutely correctly. The scale is the same as I had in my mind. However, I was thinking that it will be a bit more silky. It's more like a crepe and mm, it is pleasant to skin, but uh, viscose fabrics often are like very, very silky. This one isn't exactly like that. I was also thinking that it will be very transparent, but in real life it is heavier than I was thinking. It would be perfect for shirts, blouses, but I could also make like wide summer trousers of it. I can totally see myself in a hot day when I want to cover my legs but I also want to feel cool. All those fabrics I just showed you, I got them for 4 euros 45 cents. For me it is a very good price. I'm not sure if I could uh, get similar fabrics for cheaper here in Riga. Maybe there is one store where I'm sometimes buying fabrics by weight but I, I don't think that per meter it gets much cheaper than this. I was so stressed about the next two fabrics because I have a very specific pattern idea. I can tell that it will be from active wear range. I don't want to go in much more detail. I think it will be like a fun surprise for you. I can also tease you that there will be pockets. The first one I got, it is actually a swimsuit fabric and yeah, it definitely feels like one. It is very silky. I wouldn't make leggings out of it. I think it's way too light even if you pick a darker color. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. For maybe like some sort of sports bras or tops it would be great. And also for my idea it will work perfectly. I made a sample from a very similar fabric. The next one, I was so pleasantly surprised because in the website it looked like it's quite stiff and quite heavy. So I wasn't sure should I order it or not but this one is a proper fabric for sportswear. It is stiffer than the previous fabric I can show you. Like this, you see how well this one drapes and this one, but this one also drapes. I was expecting that it might be almost like a neoprene type of uh, bit. I think it would be amazing for leggings because it has this support, but it's also very stretched stretchy and it's also very soft. Another interesting thing about this fabric is that it has a UV protection. So I guess if you are doing water sports it could be really great for some light hydros or I'm thinking I'm not an expert uh, in this but maybe if you are like going to spend uh, a day outside with your kids you might want to make like leggings and a long sleeve so they don't get burnt and, and I can imagine it's a hustle to apply sunscreen followers so maybe as an idea this could be very useful for you. We are slowly approaching the finish line. This next fabric if I'm being very honest I took it out from the packaging and I was a bit disappointed at first because I was thinking the color tone will be much deeper different. So this is viscose and did it have some stretch? Yeah, it, it is also a bit stretchy and it is quite heavy. I got it on a big discount as a remnant. I was thinking to make rain a sleep dress but in mini length. The very good surprise was that I ordered one meter of it but here is actually two meters of it. I don't know, was it like a gift or something but I really appreciate. As I said initially I was slightly disappointed about this color tone. I usually go for pinks like this. 
However, look how this pink looks on me and I always feel like it's making me a bit pale and bringing out my under eye bags. While this pink, I think actually suits my skin tone much better. I, I feel like I look more healthy and an ally with this. I'm not an expert in this color theories. And the last but not least, this is a fabric I'm not sure if this color even suits me but when I saw it I felt like it is so me and I don't care if I look like a zombie in it or whatever I will wear it anyways. Ta -da! So this is I think it's uh, where there's uh, composition written. 68% uh, recycled polyester, 29% Eco Vero Viscose and 3% Elastance. It's quite stretchy as well. It's not transparent and I just, I think it's so pretty. Yeah, I think in camera I'm not, I don't know if it looks good on me, but it's so nice. I am planning to make a skirt from it. It feels very nice to skin, but it has this, it feels like a wool fabric. So I am thinking that I should put a lining for the skirt. It just feels like it would be the right thing to do. I don't think it, I would feel itchy in this fabric at all, but somehow I think, yeah, that for a skirt, I will need to put a lining in. I'm not the biggest follower of trends, but currently there's this trend of office wear. I find it kind of funny because all my career life I have been trying to avoid going to work in an office so in a way I feel like this is some sort of cosplay trend for me <laughs> and I, I find it somehow fun and when I saw this fabric I felt like it looks business but it also looks very cute. There is something more I want to show you. This store also offers to send up to 10 fabric swatches for free since I am considered many more fabrics to order from them I did uh, use this opportunity I was considering to buy this fabric instead of the previous fabric I showed you this one is cotton viscose and a bit of elastin it's quite stretchy I wouldn't say it's heavy but it's not transparent at all and it would be really great for tailored trousers blazers or you know like currently there's this trend of wet so there were a few other beautiful colors so most likely I will order this fabric next time. The next one is tri acetate and tensile. I have been looking for something that would look uh, and feel similar to silk. It's also important to me that it is natural and it is cheaper than real silk. If you are a vegan then this could be like a good substitute to natural silk. I also did order real silk uh, swatch and I will be honest with you I can tell when the thing is real as much as I do like this this fabric I mean this one I want to I want to live in this fabric there's 4% of elastin which is it gives extra comfort if you are making for example a blouse and like for moving around this this amount of elasticity it, it makes things easier plus the fabrics that have some elastin in it they tend to crease less so they are easier to maintain this fabric was a big surprise for me i was considering to buy it uh, there was an offer if you buy four meters then you can get it like for eight euros per meter i really like it but i was thinking it will look totally different so this is bamboo rib knit as i read rib knit and as i saw in the photos i thought that it will be like kind of similar to this fabric i'm wearing right now but it is very very light and like i think it will be great for turtlenecks to layer under blazers or vests or coats it just feels really really nice to your skin it would be so nice to sleep in in case if you don't know bamboo is basically the same as viscose but in this case it is made specifically from bamboo plants or are they trees plants or trees this fabric i wanted to buy after watching barbie movie and i wanted to make our soraya cord set from it in this case i got the scale 
absolutely wrong. I thought that this um, pattern will be much larger than this. And uh, it's also very, very light. I know by composition, viscose usually is very fluid, but I was thinking that it will be heavier. Plus, yes, I know like this, uh, the fabric weight is written all over the place in the website everywhere. I just don't have enough experience ordering online. So those numbers don't say that much to me. I'm not sure if I would want to make the Soraya set from it because even if I put interfacing on it, I don't think I can get it stiff enough. But at the same time, I can see myself in a dress. I'm, I, I have no idea about the design, but I, it is very cute. I like it. This one, I really like it, but it's a summer fabric and why am I so ready for summer already when the winter hasn't even started? This is a mix of viscose, acrylic and polyester. It is slightly transparent and you would need to put a lining for it. I think it's so cute, but it's not the right season right now. I don't know, just, I don't know. Can you teleport me to summer, please? I was so shocked about this fall leather. It looks so good. I'm surprised that it's not too thick. I, I'm pretty sure that my sewing machine would be able to handle it. And this color tone, Again, I don't think it looks the best on me. It looks so expensive, especially if you can get a really high quality hardware for a jacket or skirts as well would be great from it. I'm not sure, for trousers, I think it would be too thick. No, maybe it wouldn't, but it's more like a matter of taste. I wouldn't make trousers myself from it, but I think like technically you totally can. Also some sort of accessories. Now I don't want to make the next garment patterns. I want to make like a handbag pattern, which I have, I don't have an idea how to make handbags. I forgot one more important thing about this. If you are considering to get it, it the base is on a jersey material, which means that it is slightly stretchy. So if you are making garments from it, like for example, skirts, this can be very very, very nice for actually wearing it. Here I have two fabrics I wanted to see with intention to make trousers. They are from very different price points and if I'm being honest, I can see which one is the expensive one. Although I would say both look really great. So this one is wool fabric and there's a bit of elastane and it is very light, it's not transparent, it's slightly stretchy, it feels very soft for touch. A big downside is that it is wool, which means that you cannot wash it. Probably it will look uh, horrible after a washing machine. You can do only dry cleaning. So I would use it only for suits or blazers. It is a big thing. If it's for like everyday trousers, I have to be able to use my washing machine. So this one, for me, this one will be a no. However, this one, I am very surprised. You can even wash it at 40 degrees. This fabric is 50% wool and 47% polyester and also some elastane. It's still very soft. Like if you are comparing these two, this one is softer for touch, but I, this one doesn't feel itchy at all. And with this last sample, I got the scale completely wrong again. I was thinking that it will be much more heavy looking. I am considering to use this fabric to make another zephyr coat. I think it looks like a candy. It's so fun. Also, it has all my favorite colors, pink and green. However, However, yes, I was thinking that it will have more like uh, heavier yarns going through. It's, it's quite uh, fine. I do like it. The only concern I have about this is that it has 37% of acrylic. I do try to avoid acrylic in fabrics because acrylic tends to pile a lot. I know that you can shave it off, but still those small fibers that are coming out of the fabric and the fabric doesn't look so like crisp and shiny anymore and I feel like it really cheapens the look of the fabric. So that's something 
I am worried about. However, I think the price for this was very good and if, uh, if you are making a coat uh, where you do need, uh, I think for zephyr coat, uh, you need like 2 meters and 60 centimeters, something like that. So the price per meter really adds up if you need like 3 meters for something and I think that this one would be really great. Another issue with this fabric, but this is purely my, my personal thing, is that I see these cute fabrics and I get them, but I never think how they will fit together with other clothes of mine. I'm not sure how I will pair a coat from this fabric with other my stuff. It's like the main piece and the rest of the outfit should be something very muted and like, I don't know, maybe like, uh, like blue jeans and white t-shirt, like something super, super simple. But all of my other clothes are also in many different colors and in many patterns. I will have to think about this one. That is it from fabric side. In total, I ordered 17 meters of fabric and 10 swatches. I did have a few surprises. I was mentally prepared that if I will not like some of these fabrics, I will simply use them for samples but I really like them and I want to make proper garments from them, not, not just the samples. However, if I had a very specific design idea in my mind and I would be under time constraint, I'm not sure if I would risk and order fabrics blindly. How can I explain? With fabrics, it's not only about the visual, it's also about the feeling, it's about the movement. So I would at least try to get the swatches first. If you do have some wiggle room, you don't have plants set in stone and you are you're not scared to risk a bit, then I think this is really great. It also feels very exciting. It kind of felt like some sort of gift box and yeah, I'm super happy. Okay, let's move to the next fabrics. I promise there's nothing much left. Another store I recently got some goodies from is My Textile. They have a store here in Riga, but you can also order online or from their Etsy store. The owner is super helpful. You can ask her any questions. She really knows her fabrics. So I got these uh, two denim fabrics. I don't know, should I share the design idea I have for this? I can tell you I will make skirts from these two denim fabrics. There were other tones for these denims. I also got this white cotton. Uh, I was so impatient, so I already cut it and started to work on our next sewing pattern. It's very soft and, and it also has a bit of elastin. Uh, one um, a bit negative thing is that uh, I would recommend to use it for wider sleeves than this. If you are making a shirt, not like a black because what happens is here in the elbow area when you are folding your arm this area gets very creased but other than that it's it's so soft and nice so these fabrics I got from my textile I have linked them also below and the final I promise this is the last one is this silver fall leather I told you that I'm not very into trends but I don't know what's happening with me. There's this silver trend and I thought that why not? I want to step out of my comfort zone because I usually like everything gold. There's a deeper story in that. But I was thinking, you know what, let's do something experimental. And I want to make skirt of this material. I'm thinking to pair it with white t-shirt. I don't know, I, want, I just want something like very cool and something different from what I usually wear. It is quite stretchy. I also got a lining for it because this material, it is soft, very nice to skin, but I don't like how it looks. It uh, reminds me of furniture materials. So yeah, I got this uh, viscose lining in uh, this nude color, like very skin tone. I think that would look very elegant together. These two I got in a store called Carnival, but I'm not sure if they are selling their 
fabrics online. I will link their Instagram profile in the description. So if you like something, you can maybe write them and ask. I don't have anything else to show you. I hope this was useful for you, especially if you are considering to shop online, but you're still unsure about it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about sewing and a bit of knitting as well. Alrighty, goodbye.